start by removing the grill and the speaker. For more information on this, click here. Find the crossover in the cabinet. Remove the four screws securing the crossover. Next, disconnect the wires, taking note which wires come from which component. Some crossovers require soldering, but most seismic audio crossovers use convenient spade connections. On the new crossover, locate the terminal connections printed on the circuit board. The positive and negative input jack, the negative woofer and tweeter, and the positive tweeter and woofer. Reconnect the leads for the negative tweeter and woofer. The positive tweeter and positive woofer. And the negative input jack and positive input jack. Resecure the crossover with its four screws. Reinstall the speaker and the grill. And you're done.